Hello Sagittarius, E. Ray Taronic here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges, take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you, and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Now, remember, this is a weekly update, so I implore you to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign video as it paints a clearer picture of what you'll be dealing with for um, this week. If you don't know your placements and you require a chart analysis, or even a tarot card reading, I am available. You can email me at mentalchattermusings at gmail.com or you can Facebook Messenger me. Either one, I am available. Now, this month's newsletter, Mental Chatter Musings, have the, has the honor and the pleasure of spotlighting creative genius and essence best-selling author Tashonda Whitaker and her most recent novel, Role Play. I implore you to tap into the August newsletter to check out the one of the or both actually of the two sneak peeks of role play before you check out or tap into um, delve into the full Monty. I'll say that <laughs> uh, pun intended. Now, the September newsletter will be highlighting the indie and the traditional world by spotlighting two different authors, which I can't really divulge right now, but you will know pretty soon because that is coming up. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, Mental Chatter Musings is having a harvest this month. Not only will you be able to get books from those authors or win books from those authors, you also have the opportunity to win uh a book for your young entrepreneur. The shortest boss in the room will be gifted to a few lucky parents for their child because, of course, reading should start early. And if you want your child to forge forward to, uh, you know, their highest aspirations or even delve into their own talents, being an entrepreneur, this will help kickstart them. So um, be mindful that uh, you have that opportunity as well. Now, uh, for those of you who have left an Amazon review for Deadliest Intuition, you've been entered into the raffle to receive one of the cash gift cards available in September as well. So make sure you leave an Amazon review. And please don't forget to vote for Deadliest Intuition in the LCA 21 Awards. The voting post can be found on my literary page, E. Ray Taronic, on Facebook. Deadliest Intuition has been nominated for Best Plot Twist, and I am extremely honored and humbled to be nominated, uh, you know, for that position, even uh, to be listed with the authors that I am listed with. Thank you to those of you who've already taken the time to vote for Deadliest Intuition. I love you guys, and your support is much appreciated. Now, please continue to check out Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group, I See You Reading and Chatting. It's where authors give you their impromptu freestyles according to a subject of the ladies choosing. If you'd like to be a um, participant in Freestyle Friday, don't hesitate to contact Ebony Evans. She's the president of I See You Reading and Chatting Book Club. Now, I've already kind of gone through the Sunday astrology on my Facebook page. And since this is going to be uploading on Monday, we'll jump right into Monday. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you about is Libra moving into your sign of communication, because I want to tackle this first, because this is not just one day. It starts on Monday and with it starting on Monday, Mercury moving into your sector of, of friends, goals and social groups. That's what your communication is going to be about for the next couple of months. Um, now, on that day, communi can get, uh, communication can get a little dicey, especially as it pertains to your relationships. Try to keep things fair and balanced or things could get out of whack. If you've already been on unsteady ground with someone, words can be exchanged. So you want to be mindful that you're keeping your cool as it pertains to especially money and resources within of friends and, and social groups and things like that are the goals you're trying to accomplish as far as money and things you're passionate about or shared finances, okay? Um, let's talk about, though, for the next couple of months, what you're going to be dealing with because of this communication in this area of friends, goals, and social groups before we go back to talking about the single transits. Now, 
for the next couple of months because Mercury is going to go forward and then at the end of the month it's going to go retrograde back through Libra and then it's going to have to go direct again. You're going to be dealing with this for quite some time with communication being there, which is good because that's opportunities for you to accomplish your goals, opportunities for you to communicate within social groups and things like that and with friends. Blessings will be coming in due to your relationships that you harbor, maybe even with a sibling, maybe a neighbor, maybe people in community, someone in your networks of people. They will be communicating opportunities to you or they will be communicating, I'm sorry, blessings to you uh, that helps you to accomplish goals, that helps you to, um, I would say, uh, maybe even to speak your truth because you have opportunities and assistance to expand your message and speak your truth and get your what you think and preach out there your education and skills your friends and social groups are assisting you and these are goals you were trying to accomplish in the first place okay so you have those assistance and opportunities um affecting you while you have the blessings coming in through communication and the relationships you harbor now, as far as the friction you're going to be seeing for the next uh, in communication and skills for the next month or, or a couple of months, that's going to have to deal with um, um, money and resources. OK, so you might not have the money that you need or that you want to accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish as far as, um, you know, things you're passionate about and goals you want to accomplish with friends and social groups, you might see yourself exhausting your resources, your money across the board. Um, you also could, um, yeah, you might not have the money to accomplish the goals you want to accomplish, or you could simply be exhausting your resources, one or the other. Um, don't fight with friends over resources and money. Okay, be mindful of that. But that communication is going to come in. You could possibly see some delays with money um, affecting you for the next couple of months. Now, uh, now that we've talked about the opportunities and assistance and the blessings and the friction that's going to come your way for the next couple of months as it pertains to that, let's talk about only Monday. The sun is going to be in Virgo at seven degrees. That's your sector of career. Uh, you could really have a success in generosity pre prevail on that day for you. Um, after work, make sure you take some time to revel in your solitude. Go for a walk, you know, um, put your feet in the dirt or your hands in the dirt or touch a tree, you know, uh, ground your energy and things like that. Because that sector of career is going to be squaring some relationship you have. And you need to ask yourself, how do I need to nourish this relationship? What do I need, need to do to nourish, nourish this relationship that's causing me these snags, that's causing them to criticize me or me to criticize them? Okay, now. The moon is going to be in, in that sector of Gemini and it's going to be conjunct the North Node and Ceres. So it's prompting you to nourish that relationship. But that square, you know, uh, you know, is there and it's a career relationship. All right. Be mindful that there is a blessing there for you and the door is open where you're available to establish firm foundation as it pertains to communication, siblings, your networks of people, neighbors, things during short distance travel as it pertains to certain relationships. So you could have that goodness come in and blessings come in. So don't hesitate to nourish those relationships. Once that communication comes in, take advantage of it and try to nourish you know, those relationships with, with your networks of people and things like that. Now, on Tuesday, the 31st, the sun is in Virgo at eight degrees. You don't want to allow your resources in career to be misused by dishonorable or dishonest people. Know the difference between your true passion and your purpose. OK, um, or your passions, things that you're passionate about and your true purpose. I'm sorry. You know, you want to know the difference. The moon in Gemini in your sector of relationships is trining Venus in, in, in Libra. So it's trining your friends. It's trining your goals. It's trining social groups. OK, so relationships are bringing blessings in through friends, goals and social groups, and they're helping you to accomplish those goals. They're communicating things to you that is helping you 
to to accomplish goals or saying, hey, this goal has been accomplished. You know, it could be a sibling or someone within your networks of people or have to do with a neighbor as well, or even during through community or something that has to do with the community. Luck within partnerships can help you forge towards your north node. There is a square, though, in your area of career. So you're going to have challenges as it pertains to some of your career relationships. Some people harbor some delusions about you as it pertains to home and family. So this could have to do with a home based business. But I don't want you to feel defeated because of that, even though some of your relationships in home and family have some type of delusions as it pertains to you. OK, see the truth of a situation and handle things accordingly. You can do this. You can work on whatever it is that you need to work on as far as home and family and the relationships you have in home and family. All right. Now, on Wednesday, the first, the sun is in Virgo at nine degrees. So where you've been dealing with someone that's mean or selfish or lackluster in career, things can be settled and maybe even some money gains or some resources can be had. This also could have to do with marriage, a marriage partner who's been acting like this or someone that you're of service to. Now, the moon in your sector of um, shared finances, endings, new beginnings and things you're passionate about, it's going to be squaring communication in your sector of friends, goals, and social group. So that's at the beginning degrees of Libra. So if you have any placements between zero and like 10 degrees of cancer in Libra, you could have, um, you know, some snags in, in communication. Maybe you don't have the money that you need and shared finances to accomplish your goals, or maybe even something is communicated to you uh, as far as a goal or as far as some type of money, and it's not as much as you thought it would be the shared finances, um, maybe even uh, things that you're passionate about among goals that you're trying to accomplish with friends and social groups is, is some type of delay or snag there or it's not exactly where you want it to be. Okay, Commun communication is not exactly where you want it to be. You could be more passionate about something than someone else or maybe someone is not watering your passions. It could be any of those things. But because you have that aspect Remember that you could have those snags in communication, but there is an opportunity, uh, you know, in career where someone is assisting you anyway. You know, someone is assisting you uh, in career, in home, uh, as far as shared finances, as far as things you're passionate about. Someone is helping you and bringing you opportunities as far as things you're passionate things that you're passionate about in career and as far as shared finances in career, sex and intimacy in career as well. So you might have people that like you or are trying to get with you, you know, that you work with. So um, be mindful that that could be happening as well. Um, forging endings or even new beginnings for you. Now, um, that's going to be around nine degrees. So those assistance and opportunities um, helping you in career as far as shared finances, uh, sex and intimacy or uh, what did I talk about? Passions and things you're passionate about. If you have any aspects between nine. No. Um, really from zero to 12 degrees. But if you have any aspects between six to 12 Virgo or cancer, that assistance and opportunities is coming in for you. On Thursday, the September the 2nd, the sun is in Virgo at 10 degrees. So it's in your career sector at 10 degrees. Thinking clearly is highlighted for you that day. So you want to handle your financial matters without prejudice as it pertains to career or even career matters as it pertains to your relationships and career. You want to handle them without prejudice. OK, your relationships, you don't want to um, be biased handle them without prejudice okay deal with people without prejudice on um thursday as well the moon in gemini around 19 degrees of your relationship sector it's going to be squaring some type of delusions you're having in home and family so balance your mental facilities uh, because that's essential you need to make sure that you're seeing people in home and family 
the correct way. You need to make sure you're seeing them correctly and they're seeing you correctly. If you have any misconceptions in communication or misconceptions about someone in home and family or home-based business, talk to them. You know, don't just keep things hushed. Say something and get a clear understanding so that you can have your mental facilities about you. There's also a trine in the area of communication, siblings, short distance travel and your networks of people. And that trine is bringing blessing as to your friends, your goals and your social groups. So if you have any placements between 19 and 29 degrees, lucky communication within partnerships is on the menu, whether it's friends, social groups, neighbors, uh, people during short distance travel, people in your networks of people, a sibling, any of those people can be bringing good communication your way on Thursday if you have those placements between those degrees and with the uh, uh, the moon in the area of I would say Gemini it's trining that Venus and Libra so you could have romance finances and pleasurable times come in for you and that's what they could be communicating to you okay either romance finances or pleasurable times something that works out for you on Friday, September the 3rd, the sun is in Virgo at 11 degrees. So you need to watch out for a bit of trickery as it pertains to career. Someone is not all they pretend to be. Something. Someone is not all they portray to be in love or amongst friends in career. Okay. The moon. Um, and I would say it would probably be, yeah, a, a, some type of relationship you harbor. Um you know, someone, someone's not all they pretend to be. It could be, uh, let's see. Hmm. It's squaring your image and your ego. Um, and this relationship is okay. So, uh, just be mindful of that. Uh, they could be just saying bad things about you. You know, you want to be mindful of that. The moon and cancer in your sector of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, and things you're passionate about um, on Friday, it's going to be squaring uh, your friends and your social groups and the goals you're trying to accomplish and opposing the transformation you're trying to make in personal finances and resources. So you might be over exhausting your personal finances or resources or not, or, or you might not have the money that you want to, to uh, that, that you need to do the things that you want to do with friends and social groups. Okay. Be mindful that there is a trine between home and family that day and shared finances so you could have blessings coming in through shared finances things you're passionate about uh as far as home and family so don't over exhaust your resources um if you have money coming in you need to make sure that you uh you know keep that and use it in the right way now opportunities and assistance is aspecting you and coming in for you um like i said through those shared finances on Saturday, the 4th, the sun is in Virgo at 12 degrees. Now, this is a day you could be inspired to put your creative juices to use. If you're not in work mode, partake in some, or even after work mode, partake in some type of therapeutic rituals like meditation, Reiki, or something like that, and see what comes to you. Most likely, with uh, Virgo being in your career sector at 12 degrees, you'll need to do that because they're gonna, there's going to be a clash or something shocking is going to happen in work, health, and daily routines and where you are of service to others as it pertains to what you think and preach, as it pertains to your education, as it pertains to long distance travel. So it might throw you for a loop. You might have to travel for health, for the health of someone. You might have to travel to be of service to someone. You might have someone at a distance from you uh, where you're of service to people opposing what it is, what you think and what you preach. And, and it throws you aback. You know, you could be traveling somewhere and you have some snags and travel or delays and that might throw you off as well. So uh, delve into some meditation practices to keep yourself calm on Saturday. 
Now, the sun in Virgo, your sector of career is going to be semi-sextile, which you think can preach your education and skills and where you are of service to others. So if you have any placements in Virgo or Leo around that 12 degree mark, especially between nine and I would say 15 degrees, you have opportunities and assistance coming to you in career. And it will be about your education and skills, what you think and what you preach. And um, it could be coming from someone at a distance from you. Now, that area of what you think and what you preach is opposing Saturn in, in, in your sector of communication, sibling, short distance travel, and your networks of people. So travel across the board could, um, I think it'll be okay because you have Jupiter there. Um, if you have somebody opposing what it is you say, a sibling or a neighbor or something like that, Jupiter is there as well. But you just need to work on establishing some firm foundations as far as your education and skills, what you think and preach with your networks of people and the people around you. OK, you want to establish more of a firm foundation, um, you know, and getting the word out, getting your uh, philosophy out to people. God bless you. And that, oh, did I talk to you? Yeah, I talked to you about the friction. Um, God bless you. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next week. What's coming up next is going to be the horoscope por portion of your reading. Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to the tarot por portion of your reading. For the tarot portion of your reading, your entire tarot portion is permeated by the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is a good card that indi indicates uh, some type of discovery, cautious progression. Something is being brought to your offer to you. It could be from a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius person, or this could just be you bringing an offer to someone that they need to pay attention to, that they need to... Um, you know, be aware of. Now, if this is you offering someone something, you need to make sure that um, you are giving uh, as much information as you can to the person so that they can make uh, the best decision possible. If not, if this is somebody coming to you, you need to be aware of unbridled enthusiasm, people that just like to talk, people that are flighty. You need to make sure you check the facts, just like if you're bringing this to someone else, they need to check the facts. OK, because that's permeating the entire reading. Now, you've been waiting on something because you've been in the hangman position, something that you've been paused on. Justice is coming in and it's being bringing a wish fulfilled. OK, so some type of wish is going to be granted this week, some type of wish fulfillment is coming true this week um you also have the high priestess card and the high priestess talks about the higher powers of the mind listening to your subconscious um this is about an area where you've had to have strength um your or this could be about your area of leo which means education skills um maybe even what you think and what you preach there's been a wait or a pause, you know, um, and this could be somewhere where you've had some type of upheaval or, or turmoil going on within a relationship. But now a decision is going to be made. Peace is 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 kind of restored here with the two of uh, swords and maybe a decision is made this week where you've had to have strength about some type of educational endeavor, something that has to do with uh, your skills and uh, what you think and preach. And this is this would be something that uh, could be at a distance from you since it is aspecting Leo. OK, but some uh, period of calm and some decision is going to be made where previously there was a hold up. There was some type of weight, you know, going on now. Um, Care, uh, carefully consider every aspect of the situation and be willing to balance your needs with the needs of the other person that is involved in this situation. Now, your other cards that you have are uh, the Six of Cups. The Six of, Six of Cups talks about some type of reunions, nostalgia, some somebody coming back from the past. This could be a mother coming back from the past, maybe even that you were having nightmares about or, or bad dreams about. You also could be having nightmares or bad dreams about your mother, you know, about things from the past. Or you could have this person that you were having... Uh, within a business relationship coming back uh, a past person that you dealt with that you kind of had some type of uh, caused you some type of nightmares or depression or something like that uh, in this business because of obsessions because of greed because of 
um, a misguided or misdirected passion. This could be a Capricorn person that you're dealing with. If you're not a Capricorn rising or moon, or this could be just about money woes that you're being put through because of a business, you know, because of a business that you've worked with in the past. And now they've been taking you through these, uh, nightmares and things like that because of money woes. And, um, now this past relationship let me ask for clarification as to this devil card or this misdirected passion um passion or something like that because if it's not a mother that you're dealing with i want to know what's happening with this situation uh with this organization hopefully you're not still having these nightmares and this is about some uh guy that's old-fashioned it could be a woman but it's usually an older male who's very set in his ways who's kind of old-fashioned who's coming back in your life again to uh or coming back around and aspecting in, in some aspect and it could be because of uh, some type of educational endeavor or some apprenticeship that you're undertaking. This is asking you to, uh, you know, or this is where you've worked, maybe maybe in your solitude. OK, um, you're dealing with this person again uh, and, and making plans for the future. OK, so, you know, because that's what's aspecting some type of plans for the future are coming in with this person. God bless you. I hope this helped and I'll see you next week. Bye now, Sagittarius.